What's up everybody, welcome back to the Tour Tech channel. So I'm sure you've seen in the past that I have to use this for my glow plugs. Kinda ghetto, kinda works just fine, but today we're going to address that. Address this panel here, which is over there, and then that rusty knee kick plate. We're gonna do something about that. And then we are also going to do the tachometer so whenever this thing's running it shows like 3000 on here which it obviously doesn't rev or idle at 3000 so we are going to install a dakota digital i can also put this plate back in too got that um so yeah today we're going to install the dakota digital and the 12 volt timer for the glow plug so here we go Okay, so now we're over here at my workbench. Here's the Dakota Digital. And this thing can recalibrate the speed signal, tack signal, from a diesel tack signal, or both at the same time. And very small. Looks pretty easy to use. It also has the uh, Bluetooth capability, so you can connect your phone and fine-tune it there. And then this little gadget right here is the 12 volt timer so i've seen this on one of the facebook forums we're going to be using this for the um glow plug timer so whenever the key first turns on i'm potentially going to add a button but for now as soon as the key turns on it's going to count 10 seconds and then it'll shut off and then we'll fire the truck up and then yeah so that should be good to go but eventually i would like to have some type of a button or somehow figure out a way so that if it was already running and I just like quickly shut it off like run inside pump uh, some diesel in it or something and then come back out we don't have to like continuously just run the uh, glow plugs um, I believe the Mercedes factory ones have a temperature sensor so if the engines like up to temperature it will not run so maybe I can uh, incorporate something of that nature but for now we're gonna I believe start out with this one so take this to the truck and for this I have ran a wire which I will have to find because I ran my um, mil spec like tefsel coating wires which is basically like for everything um i'll find the one that goes up to the cluster that comes off of the alternator and then we will put let's see ignition power ground and then once that's in then we just need the input and I'm not sure which one's the output, but we will figure that out and go from there. So let me find this wire. We will splice into it. I'll get a switched positive and then we'll run a new ground and we'll find somewhere to mount this so it's easily accessible. So that way if we need to, we can adjust it accordingly. We won't have to go doing anything crazy. So here we go. Okay, so what we are looking for on our diesel, we have the W terminal tack signal. That's what I have going to the tack. It's wired straight to the wire that runs into the uh, gauge cluster. So that's what's going to be our input. And if we look on here, then you have input and then the output is going to be normal, I believe. So let me read over this just so I don't mess this thing up. And we will keep on rocking and rolling. And I got my wire right here. So this goes from the alternator to the cage cluster. So we're going to cut this in the middle. Then we're just going to zip tie the box right up here. Okay, so on the next page, we can see right here, you have your switched power, 
in the first one and you have your ground in the second and then down here your alternator w terminal goes to goes to the input so not the dsl up or down go straight to the input and then your standard tag output is going to be normal and they also have a high voltage tag output which would be the high voltage so we're going to get the w hooked up standard hooked up switch power and ground right now all right so inside this cluster uh, of all the wires for these this is loose too i need to get a new a new clip or something and a new one of these since that's broken and bend this so that it doesn't keep hitting this and then put the screws in here too um so besides that this plug is back here for the ac here was our hot wire purple with white and then down here is a plug for I don't even know what, maybe the AC as well. And the green and yellow for the ground. So we got our purple white for switch power, green and yellow for our ground, purple in for the diesel input, purple out for the normal tack. So now, if I turn the key to the on position, this should light up or do something. There it is, so now we will go on the app and we will program it. Okay, so I have the app pulled up now. I hit connect, then I hit setup. Then it pops up and asks you to put the name of what you want to name the device. So we're going to put the Ranger Tack. Then I hit safe mode. It kind of takes a little while for the first time booting up. Really want to change the name, put yes, then continue waiting. Then we hit set up again, hit tack. And then for this, I didn't know really what to do in the beginning, but I put the input to diesel, input type to alternator and the calibration value I will put that in the comments of what I adjusted it to and then the cylinder count whenever I did the drop down tab um, everything was blank so I just scrolled randomly until it would hit six because the gauge cluster is for a six cylinder you can see me just playing with the calibration values right there and there's where it was blank for the cylinder count and just playing with the output voltage but I did get it pretty close in the end so like I said I'll put the calibration value of, an, of what I used in the comments for what worked close for me even though the, my tack is messed up and there again you can see where it is blank and I'm just searching for six cylinders now Okay, so I know it's not accurate, but now it's reading there. So I'm going to say that's pretty close for me. At least get me in the ballpark of what the RPM is. I don't have a gauge to actually read the engine. But if I had to guess, it's probably like I don't know, like 800 maybe, maybe a little less. And I think this tack is also bad because you can watch it jump. It's not really real smooth operations. So now we can shut this rig off. See, it goes back to zero. Raggedy old clutch. And now we will mess with the glow plug timer and we will zip tie this up and put all this stuff up and put that panel back on make it look all nice okay so after messing with this thing for like 10 minutes and reading the instructions about 25 times I finally figured it out 
and it's set to 10 seconds. So whenever this middle one gets power, this will count down and then it'll be sending power to the glow plug relay the whole time. So now I just need this to go to a push button so I can just click it once and then it'll count down from 10. So now I'm going to zip tie these up and zip tie this one up. I'm stealing power in the ground from it and then this has power in the top, signal in the middle, ground on the bottom, needs power over here as well and then output on the bottom. And I'll add the link for this and the Dakota Digital in the comments.